Today I'm going to teach you how to print by changing the headers and the footers when you print a web page. Now here I have uh, the two most popular browsers. I have Google Chrome and I have Firefox. Let's start with Chrome first. With Chrome, of course, you go Control P. That's the easiest way to print. And as you can tell, it immediately shows you the print preview. And you can see that in the print preview, you have headers and footers. Specifically, you have the date, the title, uh, the URL, and how many pages down here. There is really not a lot that you can do to headers and footers um, in Chrome. Apparently, there is an extension that will make you that that'll let you modify them, but I am not sure about this. And if there is an extension, it's probably obsolete. But it does give you the option to take them out. Now, for me, this is usually enough. I don't like headers and footers. I just don't like them. I don't want to see them, so I just take them out. But that's the only option that Chrome will give you. Either you leave them in or you take them out. But they're always the same. The date, the title, you know, the URL. And you print through here. Now, as for Firefox, Firefox is a little bit better when it comes to being able to modify uh, your headers and footers. But basically, it's the same thing. You go to print. I always like to go to print preview first and make sure that I'm not doing something stupid. So I go to print preview. And as you can tell, here I also have headers and footers. Again, it's the title here. You see, Firefox is a little bit different from Chrome. They have the title on top. Now I can just take them out. But sometimes I like to modify them. So you go to page setup, you go margins and header and footer. And here you have top left, top center, top right, bottom left, bottom center, and bottom right. And you can basically modify them to whatever you want. I usually like to leave it all blank and print like that. So if you go like this, you go OK, it'll get rid of them. But sometimes, you know, I do find it practical to live the title on the top and maybe the URL on the bottom like so and then you just have the title and the URL on the bottom or maybe you just want the date and nothing else you can customize it however you want but the best part about this is that you can actually put in whatever you want if you go to custom right here you can just say I don't know thanks for watching and you can customize anyone, any header or footer. You can say here, your base are belong to us. So now you have whatever you want. So definitely go with Firefox if you want to have these options. If you just need to take them out or keep them in and you don't mind about Chrome's way of doing it, by all means, take them out, leave them in. It's really up to you.